Hello and good evening. I'm Ash D'Souza and you're watching Goa 365. Our headlines for the day. Chikali village opposes upcoming mega projects. The deputy collector assured the citizens of Vasco a safe sapta. Guj demanded the inquiry into Soiru Kumar Pant case to be complete in a month. One booked for dumping debris along the National Highway 4A. Now the news in detail. Following the footsteps of its counterparts in other villages in the state, the Chikali village panchayat unanimously passed a resolution opposing any upcoming mega project in the village. The resolution was passed at the specially convened Gram Sabha held on Sunday the 27th of July. Speaking to Goa 365, the Chikali Sarpanch, Mr. Anakleto de Souza, said that they had decided to draw up guidelines to be adhered by developers before commencing the development of any mega project. We are enforcing this mainly to stop this high rise building in subdivision of plots, subdivided lands. If it is a big plot, people can have big uh, buildings provided proper infrastructure is maintained, sewage treatment plant is maintained. We also have you know proper parking arrangement within the complex, unobstructing. You know, uh, without obstructing the other traffic flow within the area. When Goa 365 asked the Chikali Sarpanch about the ongoing mega projects in Chikali, he said that they would expect the new developments taking place not to strain the existing infrastructure and be self sufficient. The project has already taken shape. There are more than at least 200 families staying in that. Now, what I am suggesting is to the society. They have to have a garbage compost plant, they have to have a sewage treatment plant, they should have this rainwater water harvesting system. All these things I am trying to put forth. In case if they agree, it is well and good. Otherwise, also we will have to enforce it some way or the other. He also stated that they would keep a watch on illegal projects in the Chikali village. A resolution we have taken to protect village identity is only a few words. That is part of word number one, part of word number two part of ward number 9, part of ward number 11 and whole of ward number 10. In Chikali village where I have mentioned these wards, it will be very strictly maintained and a strict vigil also will be kept that no illegal construction also will be allowed in these areas. He also highlighted the haplessness of Panchayat in tackling the malaria menace. We do not have a technical person in our Panchayat. We do not have a sanitary inspector in our panchayat. We do not have a lot of things. Uh, we are not well equipped uh, in other things also. Like if you say, uh, even on health grounds, people are shouting that you know malaria uh, cases have been reported, vector bone diseases are reported. We can do nothing. The city of Vasco is gearing up to celebrate the annual Sapta held during the first week of the holy month of Shravan. With states across the country on high alert, Following the serial blasts at Bangalore and Ahmedabad, the deputy collector of Mormagaon wants to ensure a safe sapta to the citizens. Speaking exclusively to Goa 365, the deputy collector, Mr. Levinson Martins, stated that Vasco, like the rest of the country, was in a high state of preparedness and these measures became all the more important as vital installations like the IOC, the MPT and the Dabuli airport are situated here. The shortage in, in view of the uh, oncoming festival for which we will require uh, more police personnel, especially traffic and otherwise also. So that uh, will be requisitioned. Uh, this was point was uh, taken up at the meeting which I had convened. And uh, we will ensure that uh, we will request government to put up uh, with requisition from other police stations. Uh, all steps have been taken up, there is no problem. And in view of the in, uh, Sapta festival on uh, 7th, uh, we will also try to have adequate police personnel. There is absolutely no problem, no, nothing to worry. Reacting to the government's decision to conduct a magistral inquiry into the Lati charge on photojournalist Soyu Kumar Pant at Margao on 27th June, Goa Union of Journalists welcoming the inquiry demanded that the inquiry be completed within a month or face the consequences. We welcome the inquiry and today's meeting at the Goa Union of Journalists at the Executive Committee meeting, Goa Union of Journalists decided 
to watch and participate in the inquiry we demand that the inquiry be started immediately and completed within the stipulated time of 30 days if it is goes beyond 30 days and if the extension is short we shall oppose it to then a briefing media persons president of goa union of journalists Suhasini Prabhu Gaukar appealed to the people to participate in the inquiry process and help safeguard the freedom of expression in the state. Did the freedom of expression which was attacked and we therefore request even the public in general to participate in this inquiry and register themselves as the witnesses to educate the people on the importance of the freedom of press good will organize a one day seminar on the 1st of august we therefore on 1st august lokmanya tilak punyatithi day have organized a lecture by goa university vice chancellor dilip devbakkar on the issue of freedom of press itself Photojournalist Soiru Kumar Pant accused police for intentionally targeting the common man on the 27th of June at Margao. SDM on world are the last little at each other that I'm so great press I just I had to let you want a you may just load device me. Yeah, device me no I can not and Jim I was did going to read or could be the last to leave. आणि त्यांच्यानी नंतर मारा रे इतलोच शब्द मारा कोणी तरी म्हणला तिसऱ्यां आणि एकदम त्यांच्यानी मारपास स्टार्ट केला त्यांनी बजरंग दला कार्यकर्त्या म्हणला त्यांनी सर्वसामान्य पत्रकारांना आणि नागरिकांना मारपास केलो ऑन द रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ गुड मिस्टर कुमार पांत पोस्टपोन्ड हिज इनडेफिनिट हंगर स्ट्राइक व्हिच वाज स्लेटेड टू कमेंस फ्रॉम 1st ऑगस्ट एट आझाद मैदान इन पंजाब टाइम फॉर अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक हियर विद गोवा 365